Oliver's Find When Oliver isn't working on the little western, he's shunting trucks in the yard by the big station. Sometimes, the engines would order him about, and he didn't like it. Looks like old Ollie's rushing his wheels off, laughed Henry one day. Turn tables are meant for turning engines around, teased James, not falling in them. You'll want to talk, Red Roundabout, grumbled Oliver under his breath. When there was time for a break, Oliver decided to talk to Toad to break Van. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Oliver. There seems to be something bad with you, if you forgive me for mentioning your problems. Oliver could only shrug off his friend's offer, as he was too busy dealing with the trucks. You're no good, Oliver. You're dangerous, they whined. We want Percy! Oliver's frown turned into a scowl. Percy's far too busy to be dealing with the likes of you lot. He was so cross that he rang the trucks hard as they careened into the turntable well. You silly engine, cried the yard manager. Not only have you damaged the turntable, but you have also put us behind schedule. Repairs will take a long time, you know. That night, Oliver sighed and puffed back to the shed, still feeling remorse for his actions earlier that day. The fat controller walked up to him. Oliver, you have caused confusion. Well, the damage to the turntable wasn't too severe. We've been needing to get it repaired for months now. Percy's post train has been contracted for a trial on the Little Western. How would you like to take the train? Thank you, sir. Oliver smiled, but he still felt he had let everyone down. At around 9 o'clock, Oliver departed from the junction with the post train. He felt happy he was finally cussing along the line. But soon, he had to wait at the big station for Percy. The post train was a guaranteed connection. Come on, Percy, Oliver called. He waited for a solid five minutes until at last, Percy pulled in at the platform beside him. Sorry I'm late. Post was late upon delivery, you know how it is. He puffed, trying to catch his breath. Oliver sighed in relief as the post headed to his line was loaded into his vans. Oliver was soon on his way. As he journeyed along the line, he had to stop at a red signal. He whistled several times before the signal had pulled a lever. The signal was new, but inexperienced. At last, the light shone green. Oliver found he was on the wrong line as they made a turn. Driver, stop and go back, he called. Since it was dark, the driver couldn't see much. And, and he pulled on the wrong lever. Oliver went faster and faster until there was a loud crash. Oliver had stopped in an abandoned shed. Meanwhile, the fat controller was worried. Oliver has not returned. We'll send out a search party. Later, he was flying high in the sky on Harold. There they are, he called as Harold landed and touched down. It wasn't Oliver's fault, stammered the driver. I'm aware. I'm just glad to see you're all safe and sound. Duck should be here with a breakdown gang within the hour, said the fat controller pacing around. Suddenly, he looked up and saw that Oliver had crashed near an old station. Well, I'll be. Oliver has rediscovered an old branch line. This station shall be restored to its former glory. Being lost is nice, said Oliver from the shed, but being found is much nicer, especially when it's an engine feel very useful.